So the AHEAD 345 study is really exciting because it's one of the first Alzheimer's prevention studies that's going to really tailor therapies to the individual. So um, it'll include people who are 55 and above, and it'll include people who have different levels of amyloid in their brain. So amyloid is this protein that builds up and we think contributes to Alzheimer's. And so it's really going to tailor um, identifying people who are younger, people who are older, with different levels of amyloid build up in their brain, and see, can we give this new medicine, this experimental medicine, to help reduce amyloid in the brain, and really hope to protect people's memory in the long run. To get a medication through to a phase three study is really important because that means it's got good safety ratings, they've looked at it in a lot of different types of people, and now we're ready to see on a larger scale, can we use these medicines um, and have really good safety ratings, really effective outcomes to get them approved to use in clinical practice. So engaging in clinical trials is really the only way that we're going to be able to see does this medicine work in a wide range of people. So that's why this study is really emphasizing trying to engage with people from diverse communities, building trust, making sure that we're being responsive to those communities' needs. And again, I know there have been some taglines that have been promoted that you know, the first person cured of Alzheimer's will have been a part of a clinical trial. And I think that that really says a lot um, that you know, these are the, this is a future of helping us get good therapies that will help prevent this disease um, so we can have those that not only that long life but that good quality of life too.